My name is Dania Rajendra, and I am the director of Athena, a coalition dedicated to delivering democracy. At Athena, we talked about the working conditions for people at Amazon as important because the workplace is where the corporation has the most control. How they treat the people who work there and the conditions under which they work tells us a lot about their governing philosophy and um, what it will mean as Amazon expands market share and its dominance over our economic, political, and social life growth. Amazon is one of the companies right now that's seeing a huge spike, a 50% increase in business, spike on the stock market. For many people at home, it's a great convenience to be able to get their food, their supplies, whatever it is that they need coming to the door. We don't know very much about how that gets to our door. Um, how is it getting to our door at this point? And what risks are the workers facing? So the science we've seen in the news that what's driving the pandemic is person to person transmission. And what is true about Amazon facilities, especially the beginning part of your package's journey to your door, is that a lot of people work in often extremely close proximity to one another. Social distancing has been difficult at best. Workers say that their health and the health of their vulnerable neighbors and family members um, is just not protected by Amazon's response. They also say that Amazon continues to ship a large number of non-essential items. And so one thing I would encourage everyone to do is only order the things you very, very desperately need. Some people have talked about a general strike, a boycott of Amazon, a eminent domain takeover of the supply chain that is Amazon's. Are any of those things seeming like real options to you and the Athena Coalition members? I am excited about all kinds of creative ideas. A thing that we have talked about um, and seen talked about is the idea that Amazon might be a public utility and that there's a framework for that. Right now, in this moment, what we're focused on is trying to protect as many people as possible from preventable exposure illness and of course the worst because what we're beginning to see as um, data emerges, especially from the Midwest, is that working communities and especially communities of color and especially black communities are deeply vulnerable. Amazon's a monopoly and like the thing that undergirds their marketplace is Amazon Web Services. So if you were going to try to extricate yourself from all business relationships with Amazon.com, you'd have to give up Slack and Zoom and Netflix and they have a number of public procurement contracts. So of course, of course, I encourage people to buy local where they can and to support community business, especially worker co-ops. And I think it's incumbent upon us to be really rigorous about the institutions that shape our economy and our, and our society. And in order to address the concentration of power that is Amazon and also that Amazon represents bigger than just Amazon, we're gonna need all kinds of action um, and in particular civic action. Precisely what are the demands of the Athena Coalition and the workers at this time? Among the top demands are shut facilities with exposure so that everything can be cleaned, but also so we can mitigate person-to-person -person transmission. Fix the paid leave policy so that there's much more paid leave available and so that everyone who should stay home can stay home. And the richest person on planet Earth should not be asking people to choose between making their bills and possibly exposing others or risking their health. You know, the, the so-called relief package, the CARE Act, did nothing for the kind of workers you're talking about and a lot for the corporation. How do we move though from sympathy to shifting power? We need all of us. 
that each kind of relationship and each kind of company and each community is important and necessary and insufficient on their own, but that together by taking all kinds of actions and figuring out new forms Forms of solidarity, that democracy belongs everywhere, and that we need to both reinvigorate the structures that we have that can do that, and we need to expand them because it's about time that our democracy finally represents all of us. And so what we know from history is that humans together sort that out in moments like this, and we're proud to be part of that, but it's going to take all of us to figure out how we restore public oversight over private power.